Good afternoon. Welcome to our presentation, which is focusing on access and inclusion for pupils with additional needs at Frederick Bremer. My name is Claire Binns. I'm the assistant head teacher here at Frederick Bremer for inclusion, and I will also be joined by Miss Mills, Miss Ria Mills, uh, who is the Senco, um, who will be moderating the chat and passing on any questions to me. So the way that we will work this is we will um, have the pre-recorded presentation first, which we will get to watch, which will hopefully answer lots of your questions. And then we will do um, further live questions at the end. So feel free to put them in as you think about them throughout the session. Um, but we can also have um, time at the end for any other questions that arise. Our vision is that all our young people will go into mainstream lessons. So if that is what you want for, uh, for your child, then Frederick Bremer is the place for you. Um, all of our pupils will experience all that Frederick Bremer has to offer. That's our belief around inclusion. Um, we want them to be confident individuals living fulfilling lives and to move on to the next phase in their education, training, employment, etc. Our offer is very much based around offering a personalised curriculum, a personalised support plan that is appropriate for them so that they can make as much progress as possible and have as much um, access to the school and what we offer as every other child here. So to do that, we offer a daily check in with a dedicated a key worker. We offer support at break and lunch times. Uh, we offer um, most of all in class support so that our students can have access to quality first teaching from a teacher with support from a teaching assistant. We also have other interventions, weekly speech and language therapy, social stories, cartoon club, Lego therapy, etc. When our students get to Key Stage 4, they, uh, we focus very much on um, their core subjects, their curriculum, their academic support and their transition to the next phase in their education, which would focus around careers, etc. We also um, give priority to our pupils in terms of inclusion in whole school visits, events, clubs and also very importantly in terms of leadership opportunities, school council, etc. So we really um, are there fighting for our students every step of the way to get as much support, access and inclusion um, as possible so that they can develop. We offer a personalised curriculum for our students. Um, when um, they leave Frederick Bremer, we want to make sure that they've got the skills, qualifications, uh, qualities to lead happy and independent lives. Um, as I said, they have a morning check in. Sometimes that can happen at the end of the day if that's what is best for the student as well. Um, we offer rapid reader interventions twice a week before school. And if they're struggling with their literacy when they arrive at Frederick Brummer, we can offer um, a programme called Read, Write, Fresh Start four afternoons after school, which is very, very um, effective in terms of upping their literacy levels, which will, they will need to access the rest of the curriculum. We also have morning interventions for dyslexia, um, a weekly meeting with a key worker. Um, at that point, they will uh, generate a half termly action plan, which will focus on their life skills and personal development. Um, and at Key Stage 4, we do offer a personalised programme of study um, where they could do a more vocational qualification, um, focusing around food, tourism, etc., depending on staffing and the needs and interests of the child and children at that time. As I said, we do some specialist interventions um, which sub support the curriculum, not instead of the curriculum. So we would expect all students to go to all lessons unless they were having an intervention. So that could be uh, dyslexia, dyscalculia, um, enrichment. So lots of stuff going on after school, football, creative uh, club, cooking, gardening, whatever the interests of that, of that particular cohort of students are. We also have um, a dedicated speech and language therapist who works in school two days a week. They work on assessments. So if your child has got autism or has got a speech and language need, they would um, be assessed and they might be assigned to a speech and language group, for example, with the speech and language therapist or with a trained member of staff. We also have social stories um, where students can rehearse new situations uh, to help manage their anxiety. And as I said before, at GCSE, we uh, do focus on offering academic support for those students to get the support they need. We have a very specialist staff. First of all, they are very, very dedicated and enthusiastic and committed to working um, with our pupils to ensure they get um, the support they need. They're fully trained um, 
um, in working with autism, but all other types of SEN need as well. They work very closely with parents and the teachers. Um, in terms of teaching, they may differentiate resources, um, they may um, support alongside uh, a child in class, um, and they may support several children in class as we try to encourage our students to support, uh, develop their independence. We don't want that kind of Velcro effect where a child feels that they can't make progress or work without that teaching assistant at their side. Uh, we also work very closely with parents. Um, we see the parents as the, the, the font of all knowledge on that child and we will draw on their experience and their knowledge to devise our strategies and our plans for that child. As I said before, um, it's wraparound support, so it's before school, it's at break time, it's at lunch time and it's after school if required by that particular child. As I said before, our parent partnership is key to all of our pupils' success. Uh, we think that strong parental links are absolutely vital to our students in achieving their full potential. Um, we use parents and their knowledge of their child right from year six um, through things like this, through visits, through additional visits, through talking to the school, seeing them in um, their year six school and talking to their teachers who know them really, really well. And then we use all that information and we create a document called a pupil profile. The parents will um, see that pupil profile and they will add to it, amend it as they see fit. But essentially it's everything that you need to know about that child to support them, including strategies um, for helping that child. Once that's in place, um, we will then use that as um, a, a basis for keeping staff informed about that child and parents would keep letting us know if anything changes with their child um, that we need to know and likewise we will let parents know if anything happens in school we will meet their ch children at the end of each day or in the morning we will check in with them and we will um, open have very open lines of communication so that we can nip anything in the bud, any worries, any concerns, if they're addressed straight away, they're much less likely to grow. So that is our ethos. We like regular communication, face to face, via telephone or by email at the parent's preference. Um, beyond the daily, weekly contact, we have regular meet the teacher afternoons, coffee mornings, coffee afternoons, where we would invite you in, um, where you could look at your children's work, you could meet uh, their, their teacher, um, meet their key worker, meet their TA, etc. So that's pretty much a whistle stop tour of our support, our ethos and what we offer. If you have something very specific about your child that you don't want to discuss in the, in the chat, then you can um, email this address or anybody can email this address and we'll get back to you. And we can book a phone call uh, and talk specifically about your child or we can, you can post some questions if you haven't already and then we will take your questions now and hopefully answer all of them. Thank you for listening.